Well, aloha and how you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. Gordo the Texo here. And thank you for coming in for another exciting episode. I hear our theme music playing in the background, which is kind of cool. I have my other host here, Rick's the Fundmeister Mauer. Nice to see you, buddy. Hey, it's good to be here again, Gordo. <laughs> nice to be here. And this is session two in yeah. a series. We have Mary Mauer, who is an RN, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about the wonderful world of the cost of health care. Okay. You know, last time we talked to you, you had just finished delivering 10,000 babies. Yeah. So this I'm a little tired. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just flew in from Old Time. So, anyway, great to have you here, Mary. Thank we'll, you. we'll talk about the, uh, the wonderful world of health care yeah. and why it's so damn expensive. <laughs> anyway, um, before I get into this, I always like to do a little something. I usually rant, but lately because of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and all this stuff, I've been uh, asked to keep people abreast of what's going on. So anyway, so cryptocurrency note of the week. It almost hit, Bitcoin itself almost hit uh, three, four thousand dollars for Bitcoin. Um, not for the faint of heart. I told people to not right. listen to me. If you wanted to invest, that puppy dropped down to below twenty five hundred today. So it's now at uh, it's doing a trading at around uh, twenty four hundred bucks. So in the course of one day, it dropped six hundred dollars. So get ready for that. Yeah. Might be time to invest if you're not already. <laughs> Don't give any financial <laughs> advice, Mr. Fundmeister. Um, then the, there's a, might. Ethereum. <laughs> Ethereum, on the other hand, is doing pretty good. It's at 338 bucks. It's up uh, 78 bucks in a week. So it's been moving along pretty good. Mm -hmm. So those two are the two that are kind of in the news right now. Um, interesting. Apple CEO slash I'm sorry. Apple co-founder Wozniak. Remember, remember him? Yeah. He said he bought Bitcoin at 700 dollars, um, and he said he just bought it to just see what the um, technology was all about. But you don't have to buy it to see what the technology is all about. So no. he might see something in it. Anyway, like I say, it's not for the faint of heart. There's only about 3 million people right now invested in it. A lot of news. You're seeing it more and more in the news. So mm -hmm. going to be exciting to see it unfold for the rest of this year. Yeah. And pay my health care bill with it. <laughs> <laughs> <Not. laughs> anyway, Mary, it's great to have you Thank here. You. Thank you again. I, we wanted to do number two because yeah. we were getting into things uh, that would be very interesting. But get, mm -hmm. first, a little background on your, you know your, your, where you went to school, your oh, okay. um, degree. and. Yeah, yeah, don't talk about my age, but I have been a nurse a long time. 10,000 babies. Say more worth. than 25 years, yeah. yeah. And 10,000 babies worth. And um, I'm a registered nurse. I went to nursing school at Stanford University. And um, so I have a bachelor's in nursing. And um, I've worked uh, at a local hospital here for over 25 years. Yeah. Plus, you have the mainland experience in other hospitals yes. on the mainland yeah. and so on. Uh -huh. And then the Fundmeister himself has worked in the healthcare industry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, <laughs> I have been known to work in the healthcare industry. Well, you were employed. Let me put it the other way around. I was employed. You were employed by the healthcare. You might yeah. be uh, overhead. That's, what, that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully, I, I yes, I did contribute to overhead, but hopefully I added funds to uh, pay for that overhead as well. Quite frankly, I'm not certain of any, certainly local uh, healthcare facilities who uh, take Bitcoin <laughs> as payment for their hospital, uh, but you just never know. I can help them with that if yeah. they're so inclined. Yeah. Anyway, um, so there got might two be some transactions that take Bitcoin and convert it to a different currency that would be acceptable okay. at a local. Healthcare maybe facility. you should come out of retirement and advise people on how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe not. not. <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> anyway, so we, we, when we talked last time, we were just going through the, you know, how healthcare has just been evolving and mm -hmm. changing with um, electronic medical records, mm -hmm. no longer running around with stickers on your uh -huh. shirt, uh, you know, those well, kinds of things. No, we do run around with stickers, stickers on, yeah. on our shirts. <laughs> Don't do After that. After all these years. Really? Which which is one of the things that I find just incredible that they still do that. So because it's such lost. Invariably, one of those stickers will get stuck on the door as you, <laughs> as you leave, or you forget to put one on the charge sheet and you go home with it. 
I so, don't do so, that anymore, uh, but, but, but I'm pretty careful about it, but I mean, it happens. So. Especially when you're running around and you've got a nurse that's got so many patients per, yeah. depending on the unit that you're mm -hmm. in, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. typically you could be taking care of four or five patients. Yeah, right. Right, and right. you've got and you're running yeah, from room to room. Stickers from everybody on your shirt. <laughs> you post <-it> <laughs> Help me, <Yeah>. I'm lost. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I. I mean, maybe people don't know what those stickers are, but every single item in the hospital that you uh, use for a patient has a charge sticker on it, and that sticker is supposed to be peeled off and put on a charge card. Which is then, with your medical record. Yeah, with the I'm patient's assuming. medical record. And then that's how they get billed for the and that's items how they get that billed. they use. Yeah. So if an eight dollar toothpaste mm -hmm. gets stuck on the door, yeah. then you won't get You're billed out. for the eight dollar toothpaste. Yeah. 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 Even though, wow. Uh -huh. But I thought we had electronic medical records. Why are we not coming in with iPads and iPhones and, and just going scanning Mary everything. and just scanning I everything? I don't know. He, will somebody please figure that out? Because, yeah, we've got electronic medical records. We're scanning patients' bands to make sure we have the right patient. The right med. The right med. And, um, yeah. And you have cows, computers yeah. on wheels. Yeah. Computers on uh -huh. wheels. You've got yeah. those as well. Yeah. You've got the PIC system for the mm -hmm. drugs, mm -hmm. right? Where you got to put Pixes, that in and get the yeah. drugs dispensed. Yeah. Which is quite but we're still got technology. Post it notes. Yeah. We still have Which stickers. is kind of an interesting I guess because it's faster and it's clean. Yeah. But I think some po hospitals have figured out how to bundle uh, things together so that you've just got. Um, you don't have to run for each little individual thing and peel stickers it's off. Peel stickers off. So they're yeah. slowly, slowly getting yeah. it there. So that's one one thing about the lost revenue streams yeah. yes. um, that you've got really no way to account for them. Mm -hmm. Persuade, persuade, persuade. New word. Per se. Per se. Per se. <laughs> um, <laughs> now the drugs are not handy. I mean, there's a lot that goes through that because you've got to track that through the systems and so on. So there's. Yeah. And it's not like they're instant. Like, like I'm in there like. Uh, here's your toothpaste, or here's your you know, uh -huh. lunch, or whatever. Uh -huh. um, but drugs get control. Right. Yeah, they are controlled. Every little, every little thing from a vitamin to an aspirin to a narcotic is taken out of that PIC system. Uh, the PIC system, so including needles. No. No, no that's no. different. That's all different. <laughs> <laughs> See, I learned this. So, talk about the high cost of health Yeah. So, you, you figure that um, someone comes in for whatever procedure it is, um, and then all the things that happen. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you and I have talked about this, and I'm not sucking up at all, but mm -hmm. you know, I think that the hub of all of this is the RN, is uh -huh. the nurse. Uh -huh. The nurse, the nurse's aide, and the team that's assigned yeah. to that patient. Right. You know, yes, we like you, doctor so and so, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's, you know what's mm -hmm. going on with the yeah. patient. And we're keeping them safe and, um, you know, observing for any um, variances in their condition that need to be looked into and managed. And, and all of yeah. that. So, and, and you see that. I mean, as, it was, as I got my rounds, uh -huh. I think I'm sounding like a doctor. <laughs> yeah. So I've got my rounds and yeah. I come in and I see you uh -huh. and whatever. Mm -hmm. But do the doctors really listen to the nurse for anomalies for, and things that have happened as far as treatment goes? And I think they do. Okay. I, I, yeah, I really think they do. I've, I've never had, um, a prob maybe when I was younger and I was more nervous about, you know, approaching a physician or speaking my mind or saying what I'm observing. Yeah. But now, no, I think that I think they listen to nurses, even the young new ones. The young new ones. Yeah. Well, now yeah. that you're a seasoned young yeah. nurse, I mm -hmm. mean, see how I did Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> so, the seasoned young nurse, they have they have a tendency to pay attention. Yeah. Now, do do the, do the surgeons care about cost? Or the surgeon, I say surgeons because of yeah. uh, my wife is in the OR, right, but do right. surgeons or physicians really care about cost? I don't think when they're in the heat of the moment of the operating room, they're thinking about that. Yeah, they're, they're really not. They just want to do the best job and the safest job. Yeah. So and the most sometimes that's mixed in with a little bit of convenience for them too. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you've got to prepare. You know, if you're going to do an X, Y, Z type surgery, mm -hmm. and a surgeon wants a particular tray set up a certain yeah. way, whether they use everything or not, that's uh, got to come out. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You, you get. Mm -hmm. type of care and mm -hmm. all of those kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, and they all have their own little per, you know, quirks and ways of doing things and ways that they were trained, that they 
um, feel more comfortable with. Comfortable with. Yeah. Which is getting while talking about yeah. you and I and how well you yeah. get taken care of. And do you think, Mary, that that comfortableness uh, also then allows for a better outcome for that particular yeah. physician? Sure. And I think so. Yeah. For the most part. And I think, yeah. For the and most part. And I think part. that's that yeah. would be important if I were a patient having surgery. I would want my physician to be very comfortable mm -hmm. to get the best outcome for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Without worrying about cost. cost. Yeah. And this is where I get a little kind of confused. When I see all these clinics that are opening up uh -huh. now, uh -huh. whether you're XYZ, ABC, DEF, whatever, yeah. and they're independent doctors, physicians, surgeons who have broken away from the hospitals to create their own same day surgeries. Mm -hmm. Now these are in the now they're in the business of being a profit center for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if you're going to get the same level of care because they're in the cost saving mode or in their revenue saving mode mm -hmm. versus if they're in a hospital mm -hmm. where yeah. they just get to use the facilities. Mm -hmm. It's a good question. It it's a makes very you good think question. that maybe not. <laughs> it, makes you think, it, just make, it just makes you wonder. Yeah. I mean, it's just right. the kind of thing I just wonder yeah. about when you go to the big name players and, uh, right. around town. Right. Would I rather go to a big name player or do I want to go to someone that's yeah. broken off from the big name player and started up? Well, there's been a few uh, popular, not famous cases in the news of people who've gone to clinics like that and yeah. the outcomes have not been good. And you and I have often thought, oh, if they had just gone to the hospital. It might have been it better. It would have been different. Yeah, and I'm not saying I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying no. it's good. I mean, it's yeah. it, it gives you a, it gives you the recipient of the care mm -hmm. the affordability that you you may want. Right. So there's that piece in there. Yeah. Uh huh. It's. And the the real question is: Is there a an outcome monitor? who's looking at all of those, whether it's in a hospital, clearly there are some outcome monitors in the hospitals, the Joint Commission on, on accreditation, accreditation right. things like mm -hmm. that. Are they, do they have those? I'm not, I'm not aware of it, there may well be, but as a consumer, I would hope that I could have those same kinds of uh, accreditation uh, modules Across the entire healthcare uh, yeah. that, that we do have on that the hospital, and a lot of them have to. I mean, there's yeah. no question about it. So I'm not saying don't go to the clinics. Yeah. No. There's a lot of things that they have yeah. to do just to get licensed. Exactly. Yeah, all yeah, of the permitting and the things that they right. have to do there, and they've got qualified RNs, LPNs, and mm -hmm. everybody else that's in there. But it's just one of my little things as yeah. I wonder about. And then again, I could say, well, the big guys are processing so many people. Maybe I don't get the personal care I would get if Maybe I went not. to the clinic. Yes. So there's that trade-off, yeah, right? True. It's like I'm going through the yeah. factory versus I'm going through the boutique. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm going to get yeah. the boutique yeah. thing that will give me mm -hmm. a, a more of a, a, a friendly type yeah. care and right. personal care yeah. that I would get there. So it's a mm -hmm. difference. But it's all, I come back to this costing thing. Mm -hmm. It's like it all costs money. Right. It, and, and, it, and all of that costing of money is consumed by us, mm -hmm. whether it be in our insurance premiums or whatever. So with that, we're going to, believe it or not, we've already burned through half. Can you believe this? It just goes so quick. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to get dig a little deeper because I'm going to, we're going to talk about um, the, the role of the nurse in saving money, you know, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, and so that's going to be an interesting yeah. conversation. And uh, then Angus has something, so get ready for okay. him. Okay. I know that he scares the hell out of you. <laughs> 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 anyway, go to the techs are here with Rick's the Funmeister and Mary Maurer, our RN talking about the cost of health care. We're going to take a one-minute break and we'll be back. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, 25 talk shows by 25 dedicated hosts every week, helping us to explore and understand the issues and events in and affecting our state. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. You're watching ThinkTech Hawaii, Hawaii's leading digital media platform for civic engagement, raising public awareness on tech, energy, diversification, and globalism. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech.
freedom. Is it a feeling? Is it a place? Is it an idea? Well, at Dive Heart, we believe freedom is all of these and more. Regardless of your ability, Dive Heart wants to help you escape the bonds of this world and to defy gravity, to experience freedom of the body, the mind, and spirit in a place where you can heal inner space. Since 2001, Dive Heart has helped children, adults, and veterans with disabilities go where they have never gone before. Dive Heart has helped them transition to their new normal. Some say scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say, forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and share our mission with others. And in the process, help people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their lives. Welcome back. And we just got Angus off of the beach. And the real question today is, who's lip syncing? <laughs> hey there. How you doing there? Mary, how are you? Hi, Angus. Nice to see you. Thank but you. Yeah, you check your heart. <laughs> Remember, you're not supposed to touch me with that. Thing. I'll put a little rubber on it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My lips are moving and Gordon's aren't, so that's it, we're all set. Anyway, we're trying a little different today. Anyway, you know, I got a gadget of the week. Mm -hmm. You know Uber and yeah. Lyft? You yeah. guys use them, right? Yeah. I use them all the time. Yeah. You know, and the cab's trying to compete. Yeah. So I found this great new piece of technology that the cab is using, and hopefully they'll be able to throw that picture up there. I went to Kahala Mall, and they had this cool thing. It's a phone on the wall. <laughs> it was terrific. It was awesome. So if I ever need to get a cab, guess what? I have to do is get myself to call them all. Oh, yeah. And then I can get a phone and I get the cab. <laughs> it's terrific. Maybe they should get a mobile app. Yeah, I did. I did a cam with it. See, look at that. There it is. It says the cab's got a lay on it, too. How cool is that? And it goes directly to the cab. Wow. Wow. It's impressive, man. They're moving up the ladder. Yeah. That's, the, that's really a great, great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I hope they can expand it one day. <laughs> anyway, that's my gadget of the week. When do you think I'm being sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> Just a wee bit. Anyway, this is Angus McTech telling everybody like I do every week, let your wing gang free, where are you be? And aloha. No, you should only take your heart. Please <laughs> check your tonsils. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. silliness never goes away. Yeah. Um, it does. It. We need it more and more. Yeah, since yes. no one knew who Angus really was. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about the high cost of health care. Mm -hmm. So let's now let's come into the the. Um, uh, so I, first of all, I think nurses are highly underpaid. So oh, that I'll you. first to go on the I record. Do too. Um, um, for all the things that you have to do, from mm -hmm. the patient to the family to the mm -hmm. physicians to the medical operation that you work under. I mean, you've got a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Your license is on the line. You've got the patient, the family, the doctor, mm -hmm. the uh, service provider, the radiology, mm -hmm. all those different yeah. ones that are all looking at all of you. Yeah. So with all of that happening, what are some ideas that we could have on how to reduce the cost of health care? Wow. Well, how are, how are we ever going to um, change the fact that um, our population is getting bigger and bigger that doesn't have insurance. That's true. And older. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. older. Um, and uh, that is sucking it dry. Oh, yeah, I big think. time. Um, but also, one thing I think about every day is when I walk into the hospital, it, most of the hospitals here in Hawaii, it's like walking into the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Yeah. And so I kind of don't get why we have to be like a hotel. It must cost an awful lot of money to, yeah. to make it like that. I mean, it's nice, and your experience should be good and comfortable. But um, but it doesn't need to be uh, the Kahala Hilton. Yeah, it doesn't have to be so Without fancy you paying a premium. Now, if you yeah. want the Kahala Hilton, yeah. then pay the premium. Right, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. And but if not, then you've got then you've got, no offense, you got the hotel, you uh, the Holiday Inn, or you got the Motel Six. Yeah. yeah. We'll leave the light on. Yeah. For us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. Um, so that's true. I mean, you go into some of these facilities, and they are just yeah. impressive. Right. And it's it's nice, but um, I just don't think that it needs to be like a hotel. Yeah. So there's there's hospital. now now will the general will our general population really want to accept? The non Kahala probably not type hotel. Yeah, but they might. But have it is to. there. They may have. You yeah. know, at some point in time, the yeah. the bubble's going to burst. Yeah, right. 
And I don't you know whether, I don't care if you call it Trump care, Obamacare, mm -hmm. or whatever, every one of those came with costs. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and associated with that. Now, what about waste? I mean, I go into these uh -huh. facilities and oh, yeah. uh, th the stuff that, that um, once the package gets open, mm -hmm. whether it's used or not, that's now. It's tossed. That's tossed. Yeah. Linen Linens. piled on and gets used or not used. Most right. a lot of it not used, um, but mostly supplies. Supplies no. get tossed. We try to keep. We have a little area where we try to keep those open supplies that aren't used to give to a mission. Okay. But um, I, you know, I think maybe even that has been axed recently. <laughs> I, I think you're right because yeah. I was going to say what I've heard happen is that they don't want to give those to the missions in case of a lawsuit right. Right. Yeah. Right. that will come back the other way. It might have been contaminated mm -hmm. and passed right, and on, then you yeah. pass it on, and next thing you know, X Y Z Hospital has a yeah. lawsuit because yeah. something provided right. a mission was mm -hmm. provided there. So, mm -hmm. so we're our own. Profit worst enemy, yeah. you know, tort reform we need, which I've talked about before, but then we've got mm -hmm. this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The operating room, we talked about that earlier, mm -hmm. and what happens in those kinds of things. So the hotel, the hotel I'm getting depressed. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hotel kind of uh, mindset. Uh -huh. um, I, I, what else can we look at? I mean... Um, uh, well, it's just, I'm not sure because the whole demogra demographics of the patient population has changed radically yeah. since I first started. There's so many, um, you know. Diabetes. The, well, yeah, it's, not, it's that. Right. Our whole health, our health. We're all is, chunkier. Our, yeah, our diet, we're obese, we have diabetes. Um, high blood pressure and um, all related to obesity so yep. that has to change but that'll make a big difference um, and then um, doing something about the uninsured less fortunate right. homeless people but that, wasn't that, that supposed to be taken bills. care of with yeah. Obamacare? <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not picking yeah. on it because I'm not a, I'm by no means an expert in it yeah. but you know these same people Still show up at the hospital. Yeah, right. And did right. you? Oh, did they sign up and register for Obamacare <laughs> no. because they're going to get a seven hundred dollar tax fine? <laughs> Who've never filed a tax yeah. return in twenty years? I'm going like, yeah. Oh, so I'm wait. What am I missing? Yeah, here? exactly. <laughs> and it's just getting worse and worse. It's getting worse yeah. and worse. And it's not just in Hawaii. It's everywhere. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, and the quality of care. The quality of care is improving. It's, yeah, it's, it's quality phenomenal. of care keeps going up, and then the. Um, the demographics part. The demographics worse worse. is changing it. Yeah. So when we think about it then as we're coming down to this is that mm -hmm. it really is up to us. Mm -hmm. If you want to control the cost of health care, then it's up yeah. to you. It's lifestyle. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We're always telling each other we, we've got to stay healthy because we don't want to end up in the Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> no way. I mean, yeah. I don't want to end up in there and, you know, mm -hmm. as much as I hate to exercise, I got to do mm -hmm. it. Um, you just you just have to. Yeah. And when you see, um, I'm, I'm unfortunately unfortunately now when I get on an airplane, I'm always looking at the size of the people getting on yeah, the airplane. Yeah, I know. And I can guarantee you, 50 percent or more mm -hmm. need to be on the treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And maybe we ought to chart. There we go. So mm -hmm. that will brainstorm. Okay, so we got the cost of health care. Mm -hmm. Well, then how do we spread the costs around? You know, not yeah. based on wealth, uh -huh. but what about based on your lifestyle? Mm -hmm. If you, well, you're a smoker, drinker, whatever, then your days in the hospital cost this much. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, they won't pay anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so depressed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, well. It's just a personal choice. It's know? just a personal yeah. choice, yeah. and as long as we still give out the freebies. Mm -hmm. um, and there have been some where if I'm a smoker, my you know, health care premium, whether I'm insured through my employer or otherwise, if I have some bad lifestyle choices like smoking, you know, that might cost me a little bit more out of pocket. But then there are other things about what gene pool do I have? Mm -hmm. uh, and some of that... Your gene pool is pretty damn scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
uh, and you know, and I inherited that from my parents. Uh, so. Well, they're not that scary. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, some of it is choices I made. Some of it is choices that I really don't, you know, have a control over. So, well. so I think what we're yeah, big issue, I guess, bigger issues, and you know. That's another show. That's a whole other show. Yeah, mm -hmm. we won't even get into that. Yeah. So, Mary, when we're kind of, believe it or not, we're kind of winding down uh -huh. on this. Any last-minute thoughts? Well, I, I, we still live in an awesome country that has the greatest health care in the world. I'm so proud to be a part of it. Yep. And I love seeing the advances that we have in medicine and yeah. the wonderful people going through nursing schools and medical schools. and. Um, I wish everyone knew how hard they work to get to where they are. Yeah, it's I, incredible. I, I do too. And, and you talk about health care, and I'll, mm -hmm. uh, I'll move in quickly because Hamish was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. He's one of our viewer. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> our viewer, I want to only viewer. So um, Hamish was in, and they couldn't check him out. And this is in Canada. Yeah. They talk about Canada's health care. Yeah. They couldn't check him out of the hospital because there was no IV nurse available yeah. to put the IV mm -hmm. in him so he mm -hmm. could leave. Mm -hmm. So he stayed in the hospital for a couple of more days Waiting until the, the IV, IV nurse, nurse was available. Yeah. Wait, you guys would have done that like, oh, yeah. oh, we need an IV she nurse. She would have been yeah. out. He would have been out. Uh, been gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so again, it's a great system here. Yeah. It's a great system in Canada, mm -hmm. but each of them, and then Britain, mm -hmm. except when they got hacked, yeah. um, but they all have their own anomalies. Mm -hmm. There's yes. the pluses and minuses yeah. on both but sides. thank God we live in a country where we can get wonderful health care. Wonderful health care, yeah. that's true. Yeah. But it is up to the individual, yes. and that's our key message from yeah. this, is it's up to the individual. You are the ones... We're the ones that control the high cost of health care, and it's up to us to bring it down. Yeah. Yeah, not wait on right, administrators right. or Good ex point. financial officers. I like that. All right. I'll go back. Mm -hmm. Philosophical. That's <laughs> yeah. a word. <laughs> anyway, this is so Gordon on the Tech I want to thank you guys for joining us. We've got Rick's the Fun Meister. Mary, thank you for number two in what will yeah. become a series of having you on this <laughs> show. You. And I know we fun. didn't prompt you, but you know what we say at the end of every show? Oh, by the way, oh, yeah, yeah. we got you yeah. another solo cup since yeah. you didn't keep the last uh -huh. one. <laughs> 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 anyway, you got number 121 in the series. If anyone finds like 116, it's worth at least a buck. Um, anyway, so <laughs> it's the last one, that, the last one you're ever, ever going to get. Yeah. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining us again today. Thanks. Like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. How, How are you, you doing? doing?